Hello, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express, and it's time for Cable Talk. Today we're going to talk about Fiber Light Path, or Polarity. Fiber Light Path, or Polarity, is very important. If it's done and managed properly, you don't have to think about it. If it's done incorrectly or not managed properly, it can lead to downtime. Nobody wants that. Simply put, it's when you go from the send on one transceiver to the receive on the other transceiver. But things can get complicated very quickly if you're talking about a whole channel, which would involve fiber optic modules, the use of MPO trunking, and multiple jumpers. There are three approved methods defined by the TIA and the 568B standard documents. These standards were developed to offer migration paths to future speeds and technologies, as well as options for manufacturers of associated products. Method A relies on the cross to happen in one jumper. This could be difficult because you have to manage two different types of jumpers. Now I'm going to jump down to method C because it's very much like method A. However, the cross occurs in the trunk. Since these aren't off the shelf items, they're usually custom built for you. It's not going to be as difficult to manage. And then back to method B. This is where the cross occurs in the module itself. Again, you're going to have to rely on managing two different types of modules. Our skinny trunk solution utilizes method C. We chose this as it aligns with our philosophy, which is a structured cabling solution that can maximize the return on investment and last through generations of hardware up to 100 gigabit speeds. And while we utilize method C, we can build to suit any customer or unique application's needs. It is not recommended to mix light path methods within any particular site. It is important to plan carefully document well, and fully understand the polarity of your fiber optic infrastructure. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. For more information, visit us on www.cableexpress.com. Respect Layer 1.